Okay, so my second question, and this is one yep. that I've been itching to ask you, <laughs> is how did you personally go about defining your purpose? You know, like if you're sat here now listening to you, you know, the, you know, it's clearly, you know, found your higher purpose and you're really resolute and determined and focused on what your life looks like. How did you get to that step? What did you do in order to be able to define that? Well, I didn't use the icky guy because I didn't know that existed. So uh, that's something that I've revisited like more more recently. Um, I think it's kind of shaped over the years. But to be honest, I think at, at a teenage level, I knew that I, you know, I think um, so. One of my values is making a difference. So making a difference, um, positivity, and continuous improvement. Those are my my core three. And I know that even if like now on reflection, I look back to my teens, that like right the way through, uh, there were things that I were doing, I was doing, decisions that I was making that feed into all three of those. Um, and I knew that I wanted to make a difference. I knew I didn't want a nine to five doing the same thing day in and day out. Um, I just wasn't quite sure what that looked like. I looked around me of what I knew and parents and family members had all been in the police. So you kind of, you go with what you know, don't you? You go with where your influences are, you go with with what you know. Um, and that you know really put me on the path of a 20 year career. When that came to an end, I then had that very fortunate position of sitting and going, right now, in my late 30s, knowing what I know now, what do I want to do? What do I want to, what are the things that are important to me? How do I want to spend my time? And can I pay the bills doing that? Because that's the question. Or did I need to find something that paid the bills and then find other ways to kind of tick those boxes? So I looked, you know, I spent a lot of time, well, the time that I had, because the clock was the clock was ticking and having to make a decision, but I spent some time thinking, you know, where did I get the most enjoyment? Where did I feel the most fulfilled? If I can choose how I spend my time, what would I want to do? Um, you know, what are the things over the years? What have I enjoyed the most? What have I got the most value from? Where did I kind of get the most return, if you like, of fulfillment in terms of investment of time and, and energy? And just kind of really started to map it, map it out. And that's where coaching, training, self-development all really started to filter through. I started to think about what was important to me in terms of the business of what did I want to make sure that regardless of the direction the business went in the future, what did I want to make sure stayed the same? And for me, it was about making the businesses, making coaching as inclusive as possible so I wanted to make sure that people had access to resources had access to support regardless of budget I wanted to make sure that um, coaching was available online so like even six years ago before COVID and everybody moved online I made sure that workshops were online they were set at a time that people who had caring responsibilities you know, young people were in bed. So evening workshops or weekend workshops that were online so that that helped to make it more accessible, more inclusive. Um, so there were certain things that were really important to me that I wanted to make sure that I could, you know, even in 20 years time, I still hold on to those things, regardless of what direction the business goes in. Um, so I think, by the time I got to setting the business up, because I was in my 30s, having had a 20 year career, I think I knew a lot more to be able to really sit and think about it. And I think also I, I felt like I had control of making those decisions because yeah. I was shaping my own business and making those decisions and being the decision maker rather than trying to find something in alignment. So 